Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of my double bass drum lesson series. In this video, I will talk about muscle memory and related with this, I'll give you some interesting examples. First of all, what is muscle memory? Let's start with the boring but the short biological definition. Neurotransmitter stimulates the brain uh, cells associatively growth of dendrites, which are neurofilaments on brain cells. And these filaments reach and connect to other brain cells. So by this, when you repeat a movement so much over time, brain creates some new block and this block allows you to perform the muscle action without conscious, without thinking. But to make this happen, you need to make the exact movement so much, like walking, driving, uh, riding bi bicycle, toothbrushing, writing uh, something on keyboards without looking. There are a lot of scientific things to say about this topic, but I don't want to bore you and just want to get straight to the point. I want to link this topic with drumming. Since our subtopic is bass drumming and our feet, I want to mention about a very common problem of drummers. The question is, uh, I can play fast easier than I play slow on mid tempos. Why? I can play 220 BPM double bass, but I struggle when I try to play on 140 BPM. Why? That's because these uh, different BPM scales requires different muscle groups to play and you don't know how to use one of them well. When you play slow run mid tempos, you need to use your upper leg muscles, quadriceps most of the time. But when you play on fast tempos, you usually need to use your ankles, uh, shin muscles or calves, uh, hip flexors, which is related to your technique. Uh, let's just compare leg motion technique with uh, one of ankle motion technique and you will understand what I mean. First, let's remember the motions. Now, if you play so much, just one motion, for example, if you start drumming and play five, ten years just with leg motion, like me, you will get hard times to learn to use your ankles. But if you play just with ankle motion, mainly with your shin muscles or calves, uh, doesn't matter, five to ten years, it's normal to uh, have problems while playing on mid tempos. Nowadays, drummers are focusing so much on speed, so they forget some basic things. So let's return to our question. The answer is you can solve this issue by teaching your brain how to use your upper leg muscles. But if you get so much used to use the other parts of your muscle groups for a very long time, it can be hard to cheat your brain to switch to another muscle. For example, if you make boxing and uh, you always use your right punch in a stress time like in a boxing match or in a real fight it will become near impossible to punch with your left like in drumming too if you get used to use your ankles so much and uh, your upper legs were always loose you cannot use your upper leg muscles while playing song in a concert here's a strange cheat technique for your brain but this is not a drum technique or not something how you should play drums. This is just an idea how to cheat your brain by not letting your brain to use your uh, memorized muscle groups. For example, if you sit like this, you can't use your shin muscles. So if you are an shin muscle based ankle motion drummer and 
want to improve your leg motion technique but having a hard time to switch muscle groups, for some couple of weeks you can say to your brain, here there are some muscle groups here and I want you to use these, not my ankles and work like this. Because like this you lock a lot of ankle muscles and force your brain to use your upper leg muscle groups to achieve playing. Which is very wrong position of course, but this is just closing some muscle groups for your brain and forcing it to use unused muscle groups, which your brain doesn't know much about. For these motions, like in this position it's impossible to use shin muscles and it's hard to use calves because of stress on the muscles. And if you adjust your pedal spring tension tight and try to hit with your maximum power, your brain will be obliged to use your quadriceps which is on your upper leg muscles. And if you are a leg motion drummer and want to cheat your brain to use your ankles, like this, brain has to use especially shin muscles and secondary calves. You can exercise these on slow and mid tempos, just the tempos which you are relaxed to play. Take your drum throne far away and move your leg to the front and try to squeeze your upper leg muscles by pushing your foot to the ground. You can't, so your brain has to use your ankles to make the stroke in this position. Rather than playing faster double bass, this exercise will help you to use better slide motions too, especially the slide motion which I call horizontal slide. These are some examples that I created by myself and used a lot for transitions on muscle groups. These exercises are for the drummers who have problems using their weak muscles and want to make them stronger. So think of these exercises like, as I said before, transition exercises. So I want to cut this lesson simple and on point. And if you have any question about this, you can ask me on the comment section. And if these exercises work for you, don't forget to share with us. My next lesson will be about slave foot weakness, which is very related with muscle memory too. So see you in the next video.